Welcome back to the channel guys. Appreciate you being here and hope you are having a great week so far. And today we have a new review for you. It is Athlean X's AX2 program. And to be honest, this one is kind of a mixed bag. So before we get into this, I do want to state that everything I say here is my opinion. It's true for all the other reviews that I had. So I may see some things that you guys disagree with and, you know, that, that's fine. If you want to discuss it, and you know, comment down below. I'll be happy to have a talk with you guys there about anything that I say. But again, everything here I just want to emphasize is my opinion opinion yeah and i'm not trying to criticize anything either i'm just trying to provide some feedback some things here that i think jeff cavalier you know ethylene x should have either included or maybe changed up a little bit and i'm sure there's a lot of you that really enjoy this program or have tried it and liked it and it's worked for you and that's great that's fine i personally don't necessarily see myself doing this program but if it's helped you and everything that's fine so for pretty much everybody here watching the video you probably have heard of ethylene x he has around 10 million subscribers on his YouTube channel. Very, very popular. He has a ton of videos on almost everything, really, from techniques to try this type of exercise to a lot of different stuff that I've actually liked, some things I've disagreed with, but you know, that's just part of the fitness community. Now, when you get to his website there, he has a program selector that'll help you determine which program might be best for you because he actually has quite a few programs there that he has that you can try out and buy. So I went through that whole selector there, answered all the questions, and it gave me the recommendation for AX2. So that's the one that I decided to give a try and signed up for. So once you do sign up, it gives you access to a membership site or a portal kind of a community type feature where you get access to not only the program itself but also a meal plan as well if that comes with your program and some forms where you can ask the community or the other members their questions which i think is great i really love that feature on any website like this because then you can share ideas ask questions and it also actually gives you a calendar which tells you exactly what you are doing on each day, specifically the workouts you're gonna do for each day as well as what meal you should be having for that day. So that's actually a very nice, helpful feature. And because it's all included in that portal section, you can actually track your progress directly there in the website instead of having to just write it down on a piece of paper. So that's also really nice because it kind of keeps track for you. Now, having said that, when it comes to the overall program, there's honestly some things that I liked and some things that I did not. Now, like I mentioned, it does have everything laid out for you, and it's broken up into three months, and each month is a different phase, which is a perfectly fine way to do. I think that's a good way to structure a program because you don't want everything necessarily to be exactly the same for three months in a row. You're gonna have to change some things up, and at other times, it really depends on exactly what your goals are or what you're training for, so fine there. And it seemed that the first week in each month was kind of a primer type of week to prepare you for that phase. Which again, I think is good because you don't really necessarily want to jump right into it. Having said that, I think the primer maybe should have been another week longer. I tend to like to have at least two weeks to prime myself for a program I'm going into. That's just my opinion. Some people just need a week. And if you just need a week, you know, go for it. Now, depending on which phase it is, depends on the structure of the program. And what he mainly focuses on, it seems, is more of a push-pull lower split and then actually has a separate day on most of the phases for shoulders as well and then also a conditioning type day now laying things out this way is fine you know i think it'll definitely be effective for a lot of people you know some people might respond a little bit better to total body splits or having a higher frequency in each muscle group each week but again you're gonna have to find that out for yourself because everybody is different having said all that each week the exercises change and this is something i honestly actually don't really like so even in each phase in each individual week the exercise he has you doing changes and sometimes even the structure might change a little bit from week to week so in one phase you might go from chest to back and biceps to legs and shoulders and then the next week the legs and the back day might switch or something like that or, and again the exercise 
do change every single week. And I, I don't really necessarily agree with this. The reason is because you want not only progressive overload, but it's also gonna make it harder for you to really track your progress. Because if you change your exercises every single week, then you can't really track how much progress you're really doing. You can't track if you added more weight for that particular exercise or the number of reps you did improved or anything else like that. So you're gonna have to kind of figure out the way to use each week and you might guess wrong or you know you might end up giving yourself too light or too heavy and you can end up causing an injury. So this is some area that I honestly don't agree with again. So I think you should have had it so each phase was the same. Each three weeks or four weeks of each phase was the same. The same exercises and then all you do is you shoot for either more weight each week or a higher number of reps, whichever one he thought would have been better, either one would have been fine. So that's something that I think you should have changed. And another thing about this is that it, it just makes the program overall a little bit more complicated than it needs to be. By changing those exercises every single week, it just kind of overcomplicates things. And the exercises themselves, a lot of them are ones that I've either never done before or I've never heard of before. There's some that he has done, but he, kind of honestly made it you know again just very very complicated with all these elaborate techniques and exercises and really straight away from a lot of the basics and this isn't necessarily wrong it's just not something that i personally think would necessarily be all that great again it's something that really worked for him for jeff cavalier and a lot of you it may work for you too but for some of you, you're better off with just a lot of the basics or exercises that you know provides you great stimulus. There's a lot of these exercises that may not. And like I've said for a lot of previous reviews is that there's no section on exercise substitutions. Now he might have a video on his YouTube channel discussing that or you could ask somebody in the forum section there how to substitute an exercise and you'll get an answer that way, I'm sure. But he still should have a basic section for that. and. Again, he doesn't, he just says, here's the exercises, do this, and you're kind of set on your own to do that, instead of figuring out, okay, maybe this is where I can substitute out a different exercise. So again, my experience, I know what to substitute out or to do differently, but a lot of you may not. Again, like I said, it's not necessarily worsening the world. A lot of exercises, I'm sure, work and will work for you, but again, there's some of you that it may not. Now, one other section I wanna talk about again is that meal plan that came with the program that I signed up for, the AX2 program. The meal plan itself is fine. Uh, there's nothing necessarily wrong with it. I think it could certainly help a lot of people. The thing though that I wanna talk about is that it's not individualistic meaning it doesn't take each individual person's characteristics into account. So it doesn't take somebody who's a vegetarian into account or vegan, somebody who's allergic to gluten or dairy. So you, there's no really information on what you can swap out or change in that meal plan to accommodate for you. Or even for somebody who might have some kind of condition, like somebody who has diabetes, specifically if somebody has either type one or type two, because the diet between each type is different. And so, again, he doesn't really factor that in for anybody. So that's kind of an issue I have, honestly, with these pre-made meal plans that you can just buy right off the internet. It's not tailored to the individual. Now, he also includes actually a little booklet of recipes, which a lot of them actually look pretty good. Uh, I think, you know, it can certainly help you out. And some of those do take into factor, like some allergies, like uh, being allergic to dairy or something like that. The thing is that he centers these recipes around his supplements, his own personal supplements that he sells. Again, there's nothing really wrong about that if he believes in the supplements, and there's nothing necessarily wrong with the supplements themselves, but it kind of gives you the impression that you have to have these supplements to make progress, and that's not true. And, you know, Jeff Kevley might state, okay, yeah, you do need supplements, but a lot of times that, again, it's not necessary. But if you were to take supplements, the two best ones, like I've mentioned before, are a protein powder, either whey or egg, and also creatine. And this is also something else I wanna mention. One of his supplements that he has listed in a lot of these recipes has creatine HCL as one of the main ingredients in it and he makes it seem like that's superior to creatine monohydrate, and that's not really the case. 
it maybe gets absorbed a little bit faster and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, creatine monohydrate is one of the most researched forms of creatine. It's effective, it works, we know that, and it's cheap. While creatine HCL or any other form of creatine is about two or three times more expensive, and there's no evidence that it, again, is far superior, more effective than creatine monohydrate. So again, that's just something to keep in mind there. You know, something I don't necessarily agree with. So, you know, overall, the program I think is is okay. Uh, there's a lot of caveats that I do have towards it, things that I think either need to change or I don't necessarily agree with. But like I said, if you want to give it a try, go for it. I don't think you're necessarily going to get hurt or anything like that. And there's also a lot of people that will probably make progress on this and it'll work for them. You know, and that's that's the main reason that you do a program to see if it works for you. So for those that it does, that's, that's great. You know, for me personally though, I don't think I would give this program really all three months just because, you know, it's just not really the structure that I personally like. And, uh, you know, again, like, it just changes too much from week to week. And, you know, it just shows not much periodization either. I like something with periodization in it. But again, this is all my own personal opinion. Like I said, if you want to give it a try, go for it. All right, guys, that is my review of Jeff Cavalier, Ethylene X's AX2 program. I'm going to give it a final score of a 5.5 out of 10. Again, like I said, there's kind of, it's, it's a mixed bag when it comes to some things. There's some good things I liked about it, some things that I kind of disagree with or I think needed to be changed or improved upon. Again, like I said, the, the program itself is not dangerous or anything like that. There are some other areas like the techniques he showed in the videos that weren't the best, like a dumbbell clean, he didn't show the best technique there, honestly, but again, you shouldn't get hurt with any of this stuff and it's not by far at all the worst program I've ever seen or anything like that. I'm not, that's not what I'm saying at all. You know, it's just not the best one I've seen either. So kind of average, honestly there. But again, that's my own opinion on this whole thing. If you enjoyed this review, I certainly hope you did. And if there's a specific other program you want me to talk about, comment down below. If you haven't subscribed already, I certainly would appreciate it by hitting that button down below so you don't miss any more reviews. And I will see you guys next week.